Welcome to lecture number five for EE206 circuits one, voltage nodes. Now in general, when you have an electric circuit, we've got three tools we can use to solve that circuit. You can use voltage nodes, which is based upon Kirchhoff's current law, is the voltages that make all the currents add to zero at, it, at, it, at each node. You've got current loops. Current loops uses Kirchhoff's voltage law. It's the currents so that the voltage adds to zero around any closed path. And there's the third approach, Thevenin equivalence. Uh, we'll get to that after the next test. With those three tools, you can analyze any circuit. The whole goal is to come up with n equations and n unknowns to solve for the voltages or currents. So let's start out with voltage nodes. Kirchhoff's conservation of voltage says that the current coming from each node has to add to zero. Or another way to say it, current in equals current out. The voltage node says find the voltages so that the currents balance. Now the idea is back from math 129 linear algebra, you learn how to solve n equations for n unknowns, and typically use MATLAB, set up a matrix, and solve using MATLAB. If I can re reduce a problem to solving n equations and unknowns, then I can solve that problem. And that's a common theme throughout engineering, is reduce everything to n equations and unknowns, then you can solve. That's the reason Math 129 is required. That's the reason that we use MATLAB so, so much. With MATLAB, I can solve n equations and unknowns very easily. And as a sidelight, back when I was in college, solving three equations, three unknowns was really a pain. So we would do all sorts of trickery trying to avoid coming up with four equations, four unknowns. Now that we have MATLAB, solving 50 equations for 50 unknowns is just as easy as solving two equations, two unknowns. What's most important is get the equations right. So here, what I'd be emphasizing is don't simplify, just get the equations right. I don't care if I get five equations, five unknowns, get the equations right, then I can solve in MATLAB. So let's start out with this circuit. Uh, here, I've got a circuit with ground on the bottom, and I've got three different voltage nodes. The procedure for using voltage nodes is first to find your ground reference. That's usually the node on the bottom. Then define and label the different no nodes. Here's V1, this node I'll call V2, this node I'll call V3. I've got three unknowns, so I need to write three equations for three unknowns. Now start writing them. Normally to do is start with the voltage sources. Those are the easy equations. This voltage source this says that V1 minus zero equals 12. That's one equation, I need two more. Next, let's go to V2. I'm gonna sum the current from the node. Current left plus the current down plus the current right has to add to zero. Or I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals zero. I1 is just V2 minus V1 over eight. I2 is V2 minus zero over two. V3 or I3 is V2 minus V3 over six, gives you this equation. And note, when I write the note equation of V2, all the V2s are positive, everyone else is negative. What that means is if I raise the voltage on V2, I'll have more current going out. If I raise a neighboring voltage, I'll have current coming in. Since I'm summing the voltage from the node, that's the negative current going out. So a way to check your signs, the node I'm at, all the voltages are positive, all the other ones are negative. Now write the node equation V3. Again, current left, down, and up equals zero. That's the current left is V3 minus V2 over six. Current down is V3 over four. Current up is V3 minus V1 over 10. And again, note that at this node, all the V3s are positive. Everyone else is negative. That gives me three equations, three unknowns. To solve, what you do is you group the terms. The first equation is V1 is 12. Here's the second equation, there's the third equation. And again, a way to check, or check the units. Here I've got volts equals volts, that works. Volts over ohms is amps, amps plus amps plus amps, amps plus amps, amps plus amps. If you ever have something like amps plus volts, you did something wrong. So here the units match up. I've got three equations, three unknowns, they're grouped. To solve, throw this in MATLAB. 
To do that, put this in matrix form. The first equation says that this first column is times V1. V1 plus 0V2 plus 0V3 is 12. The second equation says minus 1 8 V1 plus 1 8 plus 1 half plus 1 sixth V2 minus 1 sixth V3 is 0. And minus 1 tenth V1 minus 1 sixth V2 plus 1 sixth plus 1 fourth plus 1 tenth V3 is 0. Now solve. And this is where MATLAB's useful. First, input the A matrix. And I like not putting a semicolon here. That lets me see, see what the A matrix is. Make sure I did it right. And notice the diagonal is positive. The off diagonals are negative. Um, that's the at node V2. All the V2s are positive. Everyone else is negative, and so on. The B matrix are the constant. That's your 12 volts, 0, 0. Then the voltage just, is just the inverse of A times B. So it should get 12 volts, 2.5 volts, 3.14 volts. To check your answer, that's where you use Circuit Lab. If I build the circuit in Circuit Lab and then tell it to calculate the voltages V1, V2, V3, I get exactly the same answer 12, 2.55, 3.148. As a reminder, there's 12, 2.55, 3.1475. Same answer. In the lab, what you do is you build the circuit and then using a voltmeter, measure the voltage V1 to ground, V2 to ground, and V3 to ground. And again, I should get the same answer. The second example. If I have a current source in more voltage sources, current sources really don't matter. I'm summing the current from the node. This just tells me right away that I2 is minus 3. If I have this circuit, I want to write the resolve. What I do is I count, or first label one node as ground, label the other nodes V1, V2, V3. And then I need three equations for three unknowns. Start with the easy ones. V3 minus 0 equals 2. That's one equation. This says V1 minus V3 is 10. The difference between the two nodes is 10. That gives me two equations. I need one more. At V1, I can't write the node equation because I don't know what the current up is. That's from this 10-volt source. At node 3, I can't write the equation because I don't know what this current is. At node 2, I know what all the currents are. I can write the node equation V2. That's my third equation. That gives me V2 minus V1 over 4, minus 3, plus V2 minus V3 over 8, equals 0. Three equations, three unknowns. To solve, group the terms, put a matrix form, throw in MATLAB, and solve, inverse of A times B. So it should get 12 volts, 16.66 volts, and 2 volts. If I go into circuit lab and build it, that's exactly what I get. 12 volts, 16.66 volts, and 2 volts. So that's voltage nodes. The whole trick is write n equations and unknowns. Once I get to n equations and unknowns, I can solve. That's lecture number 5 for E206, circuits 1, voltage nodes.